Uh, Coach Freeman. I just I can't say enough about our our players and the uh, resiliency. First half, I think we was backed up all night. I think at halftime I looked, we started from the four, the five, the six, the 21. We had two big penalties after pretty successful drives and we told the kids at halftime, stay with what we're doing. We can't, get, we can't be behind the chains and we got to win field position. We told the defense, if you'll flip the field, we'll score. At some point, we got to flip the field and, and um, I think the, the ball game in the second half, that our defense is just tremendous. We got a young quarterback who plays great. These kind of games right here, when we're, ba when we're back in our own territory, we're, we've got to play close to the vest, punt, and trust our defense. And we did that, and they came through every time tonight. And I can't say enough about what Sean and them do on defense. It's, uh, our defensive players, our coaches do a great job over there. and um, just, just so blessed to be here, and, and we just thank God for this opportunity and what he's given us. Questions, guys? We've got a mic here. If we can speak, uh, speak into it, to go, so go upstairs. you got a question? Coach, did y'all change anything on offense in the second half? I mean, what allowed you to – you came out there pretty hot and got those two touchdowns, and what changed, if anything, other than the field position? Uh, we, we, get, we did some stuff that we, we wanted to hold till halftime. We wanted to do some stuff in the second half, and we, if we had to do something in the first half, we would have used some of it, just some spacing routes and some concept stuff and, and, and ran a little bit wider formations and nothing really. Just we got field position and we were able to call plays. The first half, you know, we were we had the opening drive where we come out pretty good and, and we were able to run some of our offense. But other than that, we we were just not gonna we we were not gonna make a mistake in our own territory and give them something easy. They're too good a football team and their defense is way too good to go in there and do something stupid, you know, in the first half. In the second half. Really, you know, Ben, it was a situation where we, we got good field position and we didn't have we didn't have the penalties. Mark, I think a lot of people might look at 35-14 and say most of the shows didn't really have a team, but I think it's a question. It's a matter of you guys playing well in all three phases. Which phase do you think you guys maybe exceeded the expectation the most tonight? You know, Jay, the big thing is when you've got a, a kickoff guy that kicks it in the end zone every kickoff and they start from the 20, that's big. So you got you got to start there. He did a great job punting tonight. I mean, we, we got we down, we caught a ball around the ten. We down, we we got field position changed a couple times on punt. Our defense is very good. Our defense to me is the best of defense in the state. We go against them every day, and, and they're good. And uh, but I, I think that Muscle Shoals is a is a great football team, and they're coached very well defensively. They're sound, and and yeah, 35-14. I know that we recovered one in the end zone, and we we uh, ran a, a punt back. So kicking game was very good to us tonight, and. You know, there's some games where people talk about you got to have all three phases and you go home at night and the kicking game didn't really matter. But in, in these kind of games, defense and kicking game, uh, I, I've never seen it where it really didn't matter. Kicking game was good to us tonight. Any questions for players? About the coach. Um, speak a little bit about the offensive line. Light muscle shells didn't really have much of a pass rush or anything like that. Speak about that. Well, we, we have we been blessed all year. Our offensive line from the first day, June 4th, They've worked together, and we've got about seven guys that can play offensive line for us. And um, they, I can't say enough about what Chris Fancher has done with our offensive line. Um, I, I knew Chris, and he come down there, and he, he, he was just – it was just such a blessed matching for him to be with us and us to have him and uh, to have him upstairs and to, and to run our run game because we're communicating on every snap. And our offensive line, he has done a great job. They're, they're new. You know, I think we had one returning starter from last year on – Offensive line, our left guard, Logan Mangum. And uh, offensive line, we could always depend on them. And we, we told them back in June that state championship, if we were going to win it, it was going to be winning one with offensive and defensive linemen. And I just can't say enough. Him and David Peoples, Mitch Warfield, Joe German, Greg Crager, Dwayne Davis, Atlas Heron. I, I am so blessed to have great coaches. I, I've got, I, I'm a, honestly, I think I've got the best coaches in the state around me. Question for players? Uh, for coach and players, but uh, first I wanted to start with Tyler. It, it seemed like on those two drives at 7-7 in the second half there, picked up a couple big third downs of the run. I think he was 5-5 five five or 5-6 five uh, passing. I mean, how key was he as you guys pulled away there? Well, he's, he's been a key <clears throat> all year, and, and we were going to be as good as Tyler was, and he knew that going in. And, and that, that – He's coached hard, and, and I'm gonna tell you, he's a, he's a winner. And we I've known it since he's in eighth grade. He's a winner. Um, when the chips are down tonight, they were flying to to outside stuff. Uh, they was cutting off B gap. It looked like on us a lot of times, but we could get them flying out. And, and we got a guy 200 pounds that is just a winner. So I mean, that's 
is part of our offense, and I, I feel good every time I call it. And he's so good, quick feet, and making that one first move in there on the line of scrimmage. And it's just, it's a, it's a, we feel like it's a solid play for us. Questions for our players? Yeah, Tyler, and talk about those two drives. Uh, you know how important those were for you guys, and, and what was different from the first half to those two. Um, we had to just step up the second half. It was seven on s seven to seven the first half, so we had to just step up and we had to do what we had to do. But we had a great defense that just made us happen just to go back and beat them. Question here, right here. Uh, Matt, what uh, specifically on defense did you just do? From the halftime? Half, yeah. Well, uh, after that first drive, we uh, – they were like influencing us a little bit, but then uh, they got back to like what they like to do on offense, and uh, we just changed our, we just kind of shifted to the strength, and uh, and we just shot the gaps, and it seemed like, like I'm looking at this sheet here, and uh, nobody really stands out on defense. We were all just getting to the ball, and I think that's why we had. Were determined to run the ball. Only did y'all change up uh, schemes? Uh, no, sir. We just knew coming into the game that they wanted to run the ball, and that's what they do every game. So we knew we had to stop that. Other question. Did they, uh, on that first drive, did they shock you a little bit by driving it down the field? Did that make you? Uh, yes, sir, because uh, nobody really does that. And uh, we uh, we did have to bounce back, and uh, I'm glad we did. Trey, what about you on that drive? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mad on that one. It's only happened to us once this year against Mobile Christian. But other than that, you know, our defense is, I, I say we're pretty solid in that nobody else has been able to do that. So. You know, it was it was quite a shocker when it first happened. Other questions? What about the punt return? Y'all want to ask him yeah. something? <laughs> Tell us about what you're throwing up punt return on Daryl. Well, like Coach said, most sure they they're a pretty good team. But my job was to like make sure I receive the ball and follow my blocks and wherever open, like wherever hole open, I just hit it and go and thank the man the ball. You had a couple where you didn't have much room at all. Around. Yeah. Like, it was going to open up for you. What changed on that one? Oh, it was pretty hard. I just tried my best to make some make some happen. You guys, we know everybody's on deadline right now. But congratulations, in coach. It's probably going to be a few more questions outside, and the other teams waiting to come on in. So appreciate it. Congratulations on a great season.